Okay, um, the question two is um, how does your media product represent particular social groups? Um, I believe that my magazine appeals to all. I don't feel like it discriminates anybody. Music is such a wide subject that people like what they like and if they like my, the type of music that my magazine um, is about, then that's fine, it's open to anybody. Now, my magazine is about um, the indie alternative music scene, so therefore people do believe that I would appeal just to indies or have a support, but it's just basically to anybody that enjoys that type of music. Um, so therefore you'd think it would be musicians or fans of the in Indian alternative scene. Um, now the age is mainly um, younger people. I think it's around age 16 to 25. Um, so it's kind of the younger scene who my that's why the magazine's maybe a bit more fun, um, a bit more quirky in relation to what an older person may be into. Um, so, and then, the place spread. Um, it's not gender specific, it's open to both male and female. Um, there's no extreme, um, girliness to the magazine or masculinity, it's just very bi in the sense that it should appeal to both. I've not made it specific to either gender just because I want it to appeal to the full audience. Um, social class, there's no social class on my magazine. I've kept it to uh, uh, quite a low cost for what it is just so it links to the age of people that it should appeal to because it appeals to the students and students are on a budget so therefore my magazine should appeal to that. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if they're of a working class or if they're middle class. Either way, I just want people to enjoy my magazine. Um, there's no specific race or ethnicity that it should appeal to. It should be broad enough to appeal to anybody. We don't want to discriminate against anybody, therefore I've kept it as open as I can. Um, sexuality, straight, gay, lesbian, anybody can read my magazine. It doesn't have any, it's not um, swayed towards one, it's just open to everybody. Um, region, probably more, because it's, it's based in the north, I'd say that it's up in the north. However, um, London has a big music scene, therefore we'll take influences from them, we'll take influences from different countries, if that is what goes on, that's what happens. It's just all about the music, it doesn't matter where you're from, where you live, any of that, it's just specifically about the music. And I believe maybe it's good to take influences from people from somewhere else, because then we can understand the life of the musician in other parts of the world, and it creates people to be, to open their eyes to different parts of the music scene. And um, it's not specific to disability, whatsoever. It's open to everybody and anybody, disabled or not disabled, gay, straight, anything, boy, girl, it doesn't matter. So yeah, my magazine is specifically to fans of music and as far as it goes, shouldn't discriminate or anything like that.